What's up, my Moon Tribe? I'm Haley, and welcome back to Moon Tribe Tarot. This is going to be for the star sign of Scorpio for the month of December 2020, so take what resonates and leave behind what does not. If you'd like to book a personal reading with me where your messages 100% correlate to your story because they are specifically for you in mind, you can find all the information for how to reach me in the description box down below. If you like the content that I make and would like to support me, please go smash the like and subscribe button. It would mean the world to me. Without any further ado, I have already gone and pulled your cards off camera like always for you, Scorpio. So let's get right into the reading. Hanged Man Major Arcana, the Three of Pentacles, and the Queen of Swords outcome. So basically, breaking this down, the Hangman represents um, the perspective, the perspection, um, the perception that somebody has when they put themselves into somebody else's shoes. It represents perspection. Uh, I think I'm getting that word wrong. It represents um, the need to have a different viewpoint from what it is that you currently already do. The pers- the per- what the fuck is the word? Is it the per- Perception! Perception. Perce oh, fucking God. It is- <laughs> It is the perception that one needs in order to- That was so fucking aggressive. All right, my mom, everybody. Um, it is the perception that one needs. They put themselves, the hangman literally puts himself into a tree, he puts himself into this position in order to see things in a different light because he has to. Now, this came out with the Three of Pentacles, so I think that it's going to be closely either work-related or somebody that you are working with together in a team. It could be a polyamorous relationship. It could be just a, a monogamous relationship. It could be any type of relationship, but this is specifically when it comes to having a new vein or a new way of looking things in a new vein when it comes to working together with somebody. However, I think that this is more or less going to be allowed something to happen. When the hangman comes up, it often represents riding the wave and allowing things to just be and kind of getting an outside uh, perspective of things and allowing things to happen. Um, but that doesn't mean, here's the thing with this, it doesn't mean that you're letting people walk all over you because I think that th there's a situation here where there's going to be kind of a push and a shove. I feel like um, I f I'm getting the energy that there is going to be a necessity to allow things to happen in a partnership. Now, again, this can be in a work partnership, it can be coworkers, it can be friends, it can be romantic or non-romantic, family or not, it doesn't matter. It would be working together with something, somebody. And I feel like it's allowing something to fly. I, I feel like you're allowing something to happen because you understand that everybody's um, perception is different than yours. Uh, but I really think that this is allowing something to happen. However, with the Queen of Swords, this isn't just plainly you allowing people to use you as a doormat, because I don't want you thinking that's what this is. I, I, The Queen of Swords is not your star sign, but it came up for your energy, because when it does, it is, is either somebody else's energy or yours, um, but the Queen of Swords is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, but I don't really read star signs for that. I read their energy. So this would be somebody that is portraying either you or somebody else is portraying the energy as being somebody who can come off as cold, but she is very, very intellectual. She is very logical. She is she has a lot of uh, perception. She understands thought and intellect and logic. The thing is, she would have suffered a great deal amount of pain. She's often referred to as the widow card because she has seen the most when it comes to her life. She has, one of the reasons why she is such a leader is because pain shaped her at a really early age. So now that she has that, she doesn't allow people in her energy that are less than what she needs. Um, meaning that she wouldn't be, she'd be very, very quick to cut somebody out if they were not portraying the energy that she wanted. Now, sometimes this can come off abruptly and she can do this in a manner where her truth is not the truth, and even though sometimes, the, for the most part, she's not like this because she is a queen and she can understand, she still has the ability to do that. However, I'm going to ask where this goes because I don't think that this is cutting somebody off. Where does this go after the queen? Holy crap, that was way too many. Where does this go after the queen of swords for Scorpio? Victory. So this is not cutting somebody out. I really think that it is instead of being like, oh, you're out of my life, is going to be allowing something to happen. I feel like you're allowing this partnership to happen. But I also think that you are kind of sticking up for yourself in the same vein. I, I see what I'm looking at here specifically looks like a partnership that is going through ups and downs. I feel like n n even not so much. I feel like there was something that happened. 
and it might have even been an argument, but it was something that made you, it forced you to think in a different aspect. It made you put on somebody else's shoes. And I think that because the Queen of Swords is here, I think that she is using her intellect and rationale to understand this. Instead of cutting somebody out, I think that she is being a leader and she is observing the truth as you see it, which is not something that she has... When she grew up, this was not something easy to her. So this is not like a, this is a big feat for her um, or for you, whoever this is. But I see victory here. I see this as a successful partnership, allowing something to happen, allowing it to pass and sp maybe speaking your truth on it, but being very solid, a leader and having victory come out in a grand way. Um, but the Six of Wands is not the end of this situation. It means winning a major battle in a war, but not the whole thing. And I don't want you to take this as a battle analogy. I just want you to think of this as um, this is a lot of progress. It's not winning the whole thing. It's not this isn't over forever. But it is winning a major victory. And it's saying that you have a lot of people here supporting you. So I think it's your team supporting you. I think that this is just... I really think that this is just working out the kinks. And needing to get at somebody else's perspective that you might not be familiar with. Um, because that's not something that you are just naturally born with the ability to do that. And I think that doing this is going to allow you to have um, a very successful partnership with your team, your romantic partner, whoever this is. I see success coming to you, Scorpio, in the month of December. This is really good shit. I love you, and I'll see you on the flip side. Peace out.